and I'm back for the final leg. So here, as you can see, it's just a nice and cute. And what I'm going to do is to beat the air out. As you can see, there is a noticeable difference in the consistency. The dough is coming together nice and sweet. Initially, it is all right if your breads come out tight and stuff. Whole grain breads are very tricky to make. So, this one of mine needs around 700 grams of dough. So, I'm just cutting it out. 760, yeah, that sounds about right. There we are. I am kneading it one last time. And then bringing all the seams below. As you can see, I'm tucking them in. Elongating it slightly, shaping it into a dough. This is a pre greased container I have. So never fill more than around one third of the container because the spread is going to rise quite a bit. The eggless ones don't rise as much, so they will feel slightly denser or you have to proof them for double the time. I said egg helps them proof faster. Now here comes the part called the wash. Here it really is up to you. I give them an egg wash because A that helps the seeds that I attach to the top remain stuck otherwise the seeds fall off and it is the best wash I have found so far. You can wash with milk but the bread still crackles and dries and cracks on the top. You can, what you can do is you can give a milk wash, proof it, bake it, take it out and then rub butter on it. That softens the crust out but with egg I have never felt the need for it. So you can, you can use milk butter combination that works really well. Um, if you d don't uh, brush the top with anything the bread becomes hard on on the surface so it's better to brush with something you can brush with oil also so that the crust remains uh, softer otherwise you'll end up with the bread which is very difficult to cut also okay so now i am going to once again uh, go off because i'm going to give this an egg wash add some seeds and stuff and uh, i'll upload a photo of what it looks like before proofing after proofing once the bread has proofed, this time give it a longer proofing time and there's no room for error. Once it is proofed, you have to dunk it in the oven. It's not like you can walk off, blow the air out. Don't let it overproof because otherwise the bread rises and then collapses on itself. So do the right amount of proofing. Um, I'd say around two and a half times, two, two and a half times of what it is right now. So mine sort of, you know, becomes like a bubble on the top and I know that it's ready. It is going to rise a bit more when you bake it so account for that when you use the baking tin mine is appropriate for 750 to 900 grams of bread so you can figure out accordingly this is a wilton 30.5 by 11.4 by 7.94 centimeters so you can choose your uh, tins according to what is available around you and what are the kind of quantities you need for your breads so on the top, feel free to add things like jalapenos, olives, spices, cheese, and uh, you know all kinds of seeds are possible. So you feel free, get creative. Uh, things like jalapenos and olives don't remain stuck if there's no egg. I've tried with milk, I've tried with a whole host of things, it doesn't work. So if you're planning to make flavored breads, it's better to chop them fine and add them to the dough instead of adding to the top because they don't stick. Okay, so this was the basic bread making. For baking, whew, okay, that is something again you're going to have to get a hang of. It depends on your oven. 
mine um, at 190 degrees centigrade this bread needs around 50 minutes to bake so you're going to have to study your ovens profile you will go wrong a couple of times which is okay i have made pathetic breads at one time so you, you will get a hang of how your oven functions and what temperature you need how much time you need there will be some breads which will go hard some will burn some will remain under baked so it's okay just study your oven properly and figure out what works and uh, happy bread baking i hope you learned and uh, i'll i'll try doing an yeast free bread i have only made it once so and i didn't eat it it was for somebody so i don't really know how it turns out but i will try to do a live session for yeast free bread also thank you enjoy